squeaky. Everybody in town. Good luck. I'll see y'all. Yay. You know, this is the autograph of the year right here, you know. Bow. I gotta do it, gotta do it. Hope we see you guys at the game. Of course. I don't miss one. Charm. <laughs> Man, listen, November 11, come on. You see this face? You see this face? Put it in the box. Down the right side of the lane. Oh, nice pass. To Hart inside. She's got 20. Frerichs with the offensive rebound. Shot is rejected by Bretta Hart. As Mississippi's own Bretta Hart prepares for her final campaign on the basketball court, she found herself in a tight campaign for a spot on the 2016 homecoming court. Me and my teammates was like, Brenda, you know this is going to be pretty close. Like, it's going to be close. Like, you might not win. And I was like, I ain't going to worry about it. So then it was, I think, Wednesday. Jennifer was like, I'll have the results at 5. Well, me and Jalen were working on a group project, and it was 5. And I was like, all right, Jalen, I lost because it's 5, and I haven't heard anything from Jennifer. So around eight, she called, she FaceTimed me and she was like, um, Bretta, sorry to tell you, but you lost. And I was like, why did you even call me? Like, you should have just not said anything. She was like, I'm just kidding, you won. I was like, yay! My mom then drove all the way from Poplar Ridge, like a four hour drive, and they didn't get to my house until an hour before I had to be ready. Or maybe two hours, it was two hours before I had to be ready. So I had, my hair was all over my head and everything, so there was no way that I would have been ready if they wouldn't have gotten there. Being that it's my senior year, it was pretty amazing to know that like people voted for me and I won. And not to mention I won by one vote. I never told anyone that, but there you have it. Homecoming weekend in Oxford is a special time that means cheerleaders, listening to the pride of the South in the Grove, and going crazy as the Rebs come running out of the tunnel. But for this senior forward, it meant exchanging her high tops for high heels as she brought the glitz and glamour to the gridiron. Can't get no better than this. Honestly, I had a nightmare like two days before homecoming that I fell and like it was just plastered like, all over the internet and like people were making memes and stuff about me and like it was like the worst night of my life. So I told Sebas like, listen, if you feel me going down, just grip my arm as tight as you can and make sure I don't fall. And he's like, I got you, I got you, you're not gonna fall. Like right before I went on the field, like I had these butterflies and I'm like, I'm about to faint. Like I'm really about to pass out. And once we started walking, I was like, okay. And then me and Cephas had this little thing that we did. We actually made that up like five seconds before we walked on the field. He was like, I'm gonna twirl you. And I was like, no, I'm gonna fall. Like, I'm gonna step on my dress and I'm gonna fall. And he's like, all right, well, since this is all about you, I'm just here, I'll just like do something like this. And I was like, all right, we'll make something work. And just so happened we did and it was great. It was like, this is all about me. Even though I'm not homecoming queen, I'm the queen. <laughs> Today, the most important thing, and, and I'll talk to you guys about a lot um, when, we, when we start the season, this meeting is not, more, but not as much about basketball as it is about who we're gonna be as people. It's 2016 and 17 start, we've talked a lot about our theme being it's time, and we're gonna define what it's time means over the next 40 days. And so when I define who we are and how we're gonna get there, there's three words that come to my mind, and I've spent a lot of time thinking about our team and what we can become and how we're going to become, who we're going to become. And those three words is we have to be unselfish. You got to trust and you got to communicate. I don't think we have selfish, selfish people in here, but we got to give in to each other. No matter how good you are, Dree or CC, you got to be about each other. That's where trust comes in. The people in this room are going to be around you more than anybody else in your life over the next seven months. More than your family, more than your friends, People in this room are going to be around you more than anybody else. 
And if you don't trust the people in this room, we're not going to be very successful. And it's got to be something that you mean and not something you just talk about. Erica Sis has got to feel the trust I have in her at the point guard. CeCe's got to feel the trust I have in her as a post player. And trust is not something that's going to happen today. Trust is something over the next 40 days that you have to work towards every single day. And if you do that, when November comes, you'll trust each other. I'm excited about this day. I didn't sleep at all last night. I'm very excited about this basketball team. This program was built from the first day we got here for this year to get this team right. And this team's going to show what it can do. And it starts today on how you're going to show it. So let's pray and let's have a good practice. Here we go. Hey, let's make sure we cheer for our teammates over here. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. You got to get 25 makes in two minutes. That means you got to be moving. Everybody talks about playing fast, but not very many people practice playing fast. You got to practice it every day. Good. Got it. Nice. Nice. Really good. Get around. Get around. Ah, well, that's how you were down here. Out of the way, Dino! Give it up, Shelby! Back it out. Don't give it up, just back it out, and then it's not fail the baseline. You understand? Who's this music? I can't hear it. You gotta get your ears open. I'm trying to figure out who these rappers are. I gotta get better at my, my rap music. My swag is struggling right now because I've, I've lost track of who my artists are. Bones, Thugs, and Harmony, they've been out of style. Snoop Dogg, he's out of style. Me who? Meek Mill. Meek Mill? Meek Mill. That's a good one. What's up? Are you ready? Hell yeah, damn right. Hotty toddy, gosh almighty, who the hell are we? Flim flam, bim bam, oh miss by them, huh? What? I mean, around that ball screen, that if you come off and somebody's not open here, there's no need of forcing it, you can go back. Now, if you, somebody's open, if you come off this ball screen right here and Shay's open, throw it to her. Right. But if she's not, if they're, they're kind of after the nine, you don't have nowhere to go because they've done a good job of hedging, go back in space and we'll go into CC. All right. All right. Go. You got to be able to stun in these passing lanes. So if I'm here and Tyler takes a dribble, I got to stun and get right back up. I don't stun in because if I stun in here, he can kick for that three. Every post player we have, has got to communicate to our guards. This is one of the most important things I'm about to tell you guys. You have to communicate. Bring it in, clap it up. But very good first day. We got a chance. We're gonna be really good. We got a lot we gotta work on. We gotta clean up a lot. We gotta get better at a lot. If you come in here every day and you get better each and every day, then we'll get better as a team and we're going to be really good. But your energy was good, enthusiasm was good. That's one down, and we got 29 more practices to go. One, two, three. Damn it.